Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. John Deacon rarely gave interviews, even before he retired from music and retreated from the public eye. Now in this rare interview which was filmed on the set for the music video for These Are The Days Of Our Lives, Deacon himself gave an insight into the ways in which the four personalities work together. Often it is singers and guitarists who are more outspoken, Deacon said. But behind the scenes, I can be as noisy as anyone else, he added. I think we have all had our fair share of craziness over the years. Speaking out about his experience with Queen, he continued. I can't say it's been easy. It's been difficult at times. We have had good times and bad times where we have fallen out and then we have made up. Often it is singers and guitarists that are more outspoken, you know, but um, behind the scenes, I, you know, can be as noisy as anybody else. I think we've all uh, had our fair share of uh, craziness over the years. I can't say it's been easy. It's been, um, it's been difficult at times. We've had our good times and bad times and where we've fallen out and, and then we've made up. He also said, I never thought I would still be playing in a band or recording at this age. When you join, you think five years, perhaps ten years at the most, when you first start playing music. Explaining what had changed about the band's dynamic over the years, he said, I think we are all throwing in different ideas, there is a lot more teamwork. But people still get very precious about their songs that they started off with, he laughed. I never thought I would still be playing in a band or, you know, recording at, at this age. You know, I, when you first join, you think perhaps five years, ten years at the most, when you first start playing music. I think they're all throwing in different ideas, there's a lot more teamwork. But people still get very uh, precious about the songs that they feel they started off with. The interview took place just months before Mercury died of complications due to AIDS. Following Freddie Mercury's death, Deacon withdrew only performing with Queen three more times. In 1997, he officially retired, leaving May and Taylor to continue with the band and their legacy alone. 